Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Pitch Producers. It's been ages since I've uh, done a video for you guys. Um, I'm still in the game, still doing uh, uh, acoustic treatment, music and all that sort of stuff. So um, today I'm actually looking at the Roland HP 1500 piano, electric piano. So here we are, I've uh, pulled it up. I couldn't find any videos of... of gotten this one off a uh, Facebook market um, picked it up for about a hundred bucks and um, I was trying to work out how to actually open this thing sorry about the shaky camera but uh, let's just have a look here shall we so um, when it's closed looks kind of like this and I just want to show you that um, there's just some bolts up underneath that you just need to do up along here and once you get uh, both sides off uh, the whole thing opens up like a car bonnet I thought it was quite impressive actually with this little uh, string here holding that up and um, I had an issue with the keys and uh, the keys were actually sticking down you'd put it down and it would it would some of them would stay down and um, and I've actually still got a problem with uh, some of the black keys. Um, there's a black key here. I've put a little mark there, a black key there, and one there. Um, they aren't working at all. Uh, I've looked up a few things uh, here on YouTube, of course, and uh, a lot of people say, yeah, just uh, pull these, pull these back, give them a clean. Um, but the, I've, I've done all that, given it a good clean and still no luck um, so I've tested with the multi uh, the multimeter um, tested all the way back to these points here which are the ribbon cables they come over to here so what I'm thinking is it's going to be over here somewhere in uh, in the motherboard so I'm not really sure exactly if you've got any ideas let me know but I um, just wanted to show you how, how I actually fix these keys because it um, actually turned out to be a little bit trickier than I expected. So I'm just going to show you how I actually took the keys off. Now, I took all of them off and I'm in the middle of putting them all back on again. Um, but let me just show you. So I'm just going to set this up. I know it's a bit of a rough video, but anyway, so... Let me find my little tools. So what we need to do is just get in the bottom of the tools there, in the keys. There's a there's a hole here, and at the bottom of these keys, and if I can show you one, there's a uh, little round knob there. So what you need to do is lift that up out of the hole, and then you can leverage it towards you so I'll just show you at the moment this key is a little bit sticky stickier than I wanted it to be so I'm going to leverage it up at the front there and then at the back you would be able to just pop it forward and then the whole key comes out um, as simple as that and the uh, the black keys are much similar where you just lift it up at the front there again but push it back and then that will pop out and um, and then when you put them back in very simple push down then just slide forward or vice versa just push in and push back um, now the reason why they were sticking down and I'll just grab the camera again is that um, these little rubber bits at the front that over time it seems like they've they've actually expanded and um, I'm not sure what you model again this uh, the HP 1500 is but um, obviously that little that little um, rubber bit goes within here to keep the key um, from flapping around and um, and I'm not sure why it's done it but uh, for some reason, yeah, it, it, it's just expanded. So what I've done to fix that is I've got a uh, tr trusty blade. And um, on each side, I've actually just 
gotten in on the side here and I'll, I'll try and do this in real time and just sliced it down and taken off a little bit of uh, rubber just on the on the edge see that little bit of rubber I've sliced off so we'll just uh, nick the end of that off again and now I've just gotten a little bit of the grease that's uh, on the sides there and just rubbed it back over to where I've cut that and now when I put my uh, you got to kind of click it into the go over it then click it into the front and then go to the back push down and then slide forward hang on a sec or we'll slide back yeah slide back there we go and that's in so now that's feeling much better than what it was so I've just gone along on most of them and, and sliced it but each one I put back in I'm, I'm testing to make sure it's got a good enough spring back so yeah that's that's how I've fixed the keys sticky keys on the HP 1500 on the Roland um, if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment um, don't forget to subscribe and um, like this to see uh, further videos in the future but um, like I say um, I, I focus on a lot of uh, let me just turn this around focus on a lot of studio stuff so any sort of musical um, acoustics uh, right now I'm actually building um, my own studio as well in the back of my shed so um, if you're interested in that just leave a comment below say uh, just just let me know if you want to uh, look at the story of that. I haven't actually documented it yet, but um, I, I can if you guys like. But um, yeah, until next time, uh, enjoy, enjoy, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.